You're back with The Nation. The Motor Trade Association has come out fighting against a proposal to reduce the number of warrant of fitness checks. The government's looking at all of its rules around vehicle licensing and is considering whether most cars need just an annual inspection rather than every six months. It's revved up the MTA, who say the change will lead to more deaths on our roads. Simon Bridges is the Associate Minister of Transport. He joins us from Tauranga. Good morning, Mr Bridges. Good morning, Rachel. Tell me in the first instance, why are you doing this? Well, I think, Rachel, the high-level goal is to save Kiwis time and money and maintain safety outcomes, and actually, I think, quite possibly, increase safety outcomes. And I'm pretty confident about that for a number of reasons. Look, firstly, we haven't reformed the system in any real way since the 1930s when it came about. Everything in the world has moved on then. The technology in cars is vastly improved. The international comparison is very instructive. I think the AA say rightly, if you look around the world, we do the most frequent vehicle inspections in the world. And countries like Australia, where they only do it when you sell your car, in most states, have better safety outcomes. And I also think we can do something quite you know, interesting and clever, whereby we reduce the, the frequency of inspections potentially, but increase, and as a package, do a number of other things, like maybe more stringent vehicle inspections, like maybe demerits for unsafe vehicles, like maybe targeted um, uh, advertising campaigns where the risks are, brakes for example, and, and potentially vehicle inspections randomised out on the roads, again like they do in Australia, and have, as I say, better safety outcomes. Okay. And we'll touch on that in a moment, but first of all, I'd just like to touch on a statistic because if these changes go ahead, what we're being told is that it will result in seven to eight preventable road deaths per year. How do you reach that calculation? That doesn't make sense to me. Fewer tests, yet fewer deaths as well. Well, look, um, uh, I think that's an MTA uh, figure. They're extrapolating out on, on, on our figures. But I think it's very important when you're talking about safety to, here to say that the, the, the issue of vehicle defects is a very, very small part of the safety picture. Actually, it's the big things that we know about speed, drinking. And my point, I suppose, is we can have a clever pack package, part of a jigsaw, where you do other things and you actually can potentially, I think, increase safety outcomes. So yes, it's true, if all you did, if all we did as a country was decrease the frequency of vehicle inspections, that in itself may lead to slightly less or not as good safety outcomes. But if we then target it, have a better targeting of, of regulation to where the risk is, I, I think that's a smart thing. I mean, I just say as well, look, if you go back to the 30s, 80% of people failed their warrant of fitness. Now we're under half that. So there are a lot of people going out there getting warrants who don't necessarily need to and actually we can have a targeted approach that as I say probably gets to the safety issues where we need to. Okay part of that targeted approach you said is more roadside checks. Who's going to carry out those checks? Well, that's not necessarily certain. I mean, it could be the police. Um, some would say, well, the police have enough to do. Actually, it could be a private organisation who's contracted by the, the government. The I police, mean, that is though, just really, one idea. Be, yeah, police. Do the police really want to be pulling you over and checking the tread on your tyres, though? Well, they, they, they may, they may not. Look, we know that uh, VTNZ, MTA have qualified people who do these things. As I say, that sort of approach could get and target where the real problems are rather than just this kind of blanket approach of every six months, most in the world, making people come okay. in with a whole lot of time and expense. But, so if not police then, you suggested maybe it's private companies. Are you really suggesting that, you know, someone can be pulled over on the side of the road by a private company who's going to be checking out whether your lights are working or whether your indicator light is broken? You know, does that well, make well, sense to you? Well, as I understand it, as I understand it, that's what they do in, in Queensland with a very good success. But look, that's simply one idea. I'm certainly not, in fact, my entire approach to this is not to rule in or rule out. Um, we've got a set of options, none of them preferred. We welcome good ideas. But there's other things, as I say, more stringent tests, even if we do them less often. Um, you know, targeting the areas where problems are. So I think if you look at this as a package, as I say, foreseeably, we could increase safety outcomes. Uh, presumably, if you're going to fix a system, it has to be broken in the first instance. Do you think our current system is broken? 
look, I don't have any preconceived views about where we get to, but I certainly do have a conviction that if we were designing the systems and Warren of Fitness, Certificate of Fitness today in 2012, without reference to history, we would have a vastly different set of systems than we do, as I say, as a result of what happened in the 1930s. Look, the technology in vehicles is so different. The technology of how we do licensing is so different. So I have, a, as I say, I have a conviction that we can have a much better system for New Zealand in terms of vehicle licensing. With the greatest respect, Mr Bridges, privatising enforcement and deregulating, you sound as if you're after the ACT vote or, you know, the no, extreme no, no, right no. vote. No, look, I'm certainly not saying that. That is one option. You ask me, would it be police? Would it be a public body? Or could it be someone else? Look, those are things we'd look at. And as I say, actually, I'm not ruling in or out options. What I'm really just saying, though, is actually at a high level, I think we can um, have better safety outcomes potentially, as well as less cost and inconvenience to New Zealanders. And if we can do that, why the hell wouldn't we, frankly? So the government expects to save, we're told, between 60 and $245 million a year. How will you make those savings? Well, look, that would be in fewer inspections. So if you went from six months to one year, you know you're in the sort of $50, $70 million mark. If you did what they do, as I say, in most of Australia, and you only had an inspection uh, upon sale of the vehicle, you could get up to foreseeably that $240 million mark. Look, range of options, let's see what we get to, but as I say, with the aim of improving what we do here in New Zealand. All right, Simon Bridges and Tauranga, the Associate Minister of Transport. Appreciate your time this Thank morning. You. Thank you.